Hi, I'm Anthony Haupt from HIPAR. Today, we're going to look at functions on HIPAR that help you make building envelopes. So after logging into HIPAR, I'll create a new blank workflow. And then I'm going to search for functions that involve building envelopes by typing in env into the function library search. Now I'm going to add the envelope by sketch function into my workflow by hitting the insert button. So opening up the settings of envelope by sketch that I've added, I'm going to draw a polygon on the ground plane. And you can see that I get some dimensions and then some indication of when I've got a right angle working. I'll just draw a shape here that'll represent my building footprint. Once I've got the last point and hit save, the function will start generating a building shell based on the other settings here in the function, like building height, the vertical setback interval, how often those setbacks occur, the depth of each of those setbacks, And here, a minimum tier area. Now, this probably isn't going to have much effect on such a big building, but this is a way to make sure that you don't end up with uh, a tiny spire at the top of your building. And here we can make a taller building. And then by turning on sample range on each of the inputs here, we can start generating a bunch of options. And so we'll get 20 options here that will show the building at different heights and different setbacks. We can also look at the outputs and see that we've got some statistics that tell us a little more about this particular envelope. So we can pick another one and make that current. Other functions depend on envelope and we'll look at those in future videos. Incidentally, sometimes it's hard to orient yourself in the basic environment. So you can turn on a grid so you can kind of see a sense of scale uh, along with your building envelope while you're doing things like using the edit button to change the outline. And here, from a different building footprint, we get our new envelope based on the current settings. Removing that function also removes the result from the scene. And now we're going to try a different function, envelope by centerline. So once again, drawing a polyline in this case, we'll draw the center line of our building. Once we save that, the function will use the other settings to generate a linear building envelope. And of course, just as in the other function, we can change input settings like changing the width of our building, We can use the edit button to draw a new polyline. We can even add points so we can come up with a completely different shape. Such as a building with a courtyard. Now, if you're more technically inclined and you're interested in developing your own functions for HIPAR, you can start with our building blocks repository where we keep the source code for both of the functions I showed you today. So if you want to find that, uh, the easiest way is actually just to jump into Google and type GitHub HIPAR.io building blocks. 
And there's a lot more here, but under the envelope folder, you can find the source code for both of the functions that we talked about today, envelope by centerline and envelope by sketch, and another one called envelope by site. In future videos, we'll talk about many of the functions in the Building Blocks repository. Thanks for watching today, and enjoy using Hypar.